Built in 1861 by industrial tycoon, philanthropist, and Lehigh University founder Asa Packer, this 11,000 square foot mansion is a remarkably preserved piece of the Lehigh Valley's history. Designated as a National Historic Landmark in 1985, Mr. Packer's former mansion is now a museum, providing seasonal tours that tell Mr. Packer's personal story and detail his many accomplishments that greatly helped advance not only the region, but the entire country. After receiving a grant, the museum curators hired Entech to help them make more informed decisions to select and design projects that would have the greatest impact on the museum within their budget. After conducting a feasibility study to evaluate several proposed projects, two were selected for design and implementation. The first of the projects we'll look at was the restoration of the mansion's two-story wraparound front porch. Years of sun and moisture exposure had left much of the porch's decking, floor joists, and stair, railing, and column bases deteriorated. Two layers of rotted wood decking were removed from the porch as well as a significant amount of the porch's timber framing. The framing was reconstructed using as much original material as possible, while the decking was replaced entirely with rot-resistant tongue-and-groove cypress wood. Furthermore, the column bases received custom aluminum base plates and structural straps to isolate them from surface moisture contact, which was all enclosed with column base trim that matched the column's original appearance. During demolition of the upper porch, four additional original skylight banks were discovered. Two of the skylight banks were restored and the remaining skylights were documented and recovered with decking. With the porches restored, one of the mansion's important architectural features is restored and preserved, as well as an entranceway and egress. The second project was to upgrade the HVAC system to get heat to the previously unheated third floor and install air conditioning to all three floors of the mansion. In the mansion's original heating system design, most every room utilized the fireplace. In the 1880s, the fireplaces were closed off and a steam boiler and ductwork was installed for the first two floors. The third floor was not ducted due to architectural routing barriers. It relied solely on radiant heat from the floors below. Upgrading and installing HVAC to the mansion without detracting from any of the historical elements and setting was a tall order. We were able to meet those demands with a geothermal heat pump system since it required no externally located equipment units. Ground heated or cooled fluid was piped directly into the mansion's basement where the heat pumps and vertical fan coil units are located, feeding the existing ductwork. This effectively heated and cooled the first and second floors. The non-ducted third floor received its heating and cooling by piping the hot or cold fluid from the basement up the exterior of the mansion's facade to vertical fan coil units hidden in closet spaces of the rooms. The third floor's new ventilation grills were carefully selected to replicate the aesthetics of the existing heat grills found throughout the mansion. With the HVAC upgrades completed, not only are the tourists and guides more comfortable throughout the seasons, but the mansion and its historical and ornate finishes will be subjected to smaller temperature and humidity swings, which will better preserve them. Lastly, the geothermal system eliminated the potential combustion source of the existing on-site boiler fuel, and its increased efficiency will provide energy savings, lowering the museum's utility and operating costs for years to come.